Poison is one of the scariest defenses used by animals throughout the world. Whether it's the potent spray of the devil's riding horse or the deadly toxins on the skin of poison dart frogs, it can be real bad news for any human on the receiving end of it. But of all the poisonous defenses in the natural world, there's one utilized by a group of beetles that's really the stuff of nightmares. I'm of course talking about the toxin secreted by blister beetles, a group of extremely common beetles who all have a very appropriate name. There's over 7,500 species of these beetles found all throughout the world, but I've come to the Great Plains of central New Mexico to find the most terrifying one in the country and try to hold it without getting attacked. All right, so it's close to sunset right now and we're cruising this road looking for beetles. It is the prime time for them to start moving. And with any luck, I'm hopefully gonna discern the specific shape of a blister beetle. They look pretty unique, so I'm hoping I'm not gonna be stopping for literally every other crawly little beetle. And uh, hopefully we can find this really dangerous animal. What I'm searching for is a blister beetle in the genus Megatra, one of the biggest species in the entire world. These beetles have some of the weirdest life cycles of any animal, where the larvae lie in wait on a flower for a passing insect like a bee to come along and pollinate it. Then they leap onto it and hitch a ride back to the victim's nest where they eat their babies and nectar. It's like tracking in some dog poop into your home except that it, you know, eats your entire family and refrigerator. After that major bummer, the adult blister beetle emerges and goes on with its life. But to explain its deadly defense, I'm gonna need to locate one in person. And luckily, it didn't take long to find exactly what I was looking for. All right, that is what we're looking for. That right there is the blister beetle. That is what can melt the flesh on your skin. All right, I'm a little scared to hold him right now, so we're gonna put him in here, try and coax him in this carrying case. And look at that, right in he goes. This right here is one of the most terrifying bugs in the country, and if I'm brave enough, I'm gonna let him walk on my hand. But for now, let's get to a good filming location and learn some more about this terrifying little bug. All right, guys, this is the blister beetle, and this particular species doesn't have a common name. However, the first one I've ever seen was by a volcano. It looks pretty volcanic with its color pattern, so I like to call this guy the Vulcan blister beetle, even though that's entirely wrong, and uh, you know, don't. You use that if you want, it is not accurate. So this guy is called the blister beetle because of its terrifying defense. It is loaded with a toxic chemical called cantharidin. And what this thing is gonna do is that if it exudes this disgusting liquid from its pores and it gets on you, you're gonna have horrific blisters. Your skin is gonna melt, it's gonna hurt like crazy, and it is going to be a very sour day for your skin complexion. Cantharidin is a very weird chemical because of how it's been historically used. When combined with other compounds, it can actually be used to treat warts and other skin issues. But its more bizarre use was as one of history's most popular aphrodisiacs. People would grind up a green species of blister beetle into a powder called Spanish fly, which would supposedly make people want to sleep with you. This stuff was used in everything, from spicing up your marriage to literal Roman gladiator, a Group love fests is probably the most uh, family-friendly way to say it. The popularity of Spanish fly unfortunately meant there were a lot of deaths caused by the poison in this mixture. In one case, a man was imprisoned after offering candies laced with cantharidin to two women who he intended to have fall for him. Instead, they fell over, dead. Although today, cantharidin is now a banned substance, it's still used by blister beetles to ravage the skin of their attackers. And it's not only worrying because of that, if you have horses or dogs or any pet, if they accidentally eat one of these things, I'm sorry, but it is going to be absolutely flatlined in like 0.2 seconds. That poison is horrific. And other species of blister beetles like to hang out in stuff like alfalfa, things that horses eat, and horses will accidentally consume some of the smaller ones, and you will end up with a dead equine faster than you can blink. Now, of course, this guy doesn't want to get eaten. It doesn't want to use its precious poison. So you don't really have to worry about these guys unless you're messing with them. And right now, he's actually rearing up, getting ready to absolutely ruin my day. Now, to prove a point that this guy is not after you, he doesn't want to hurt you, I'm going to hold him and let him walk on me. Now, that is quite a terrifying thought because he is rearing up. He's looking a little sketchy. Do not try this at home. I'm willing to sacrifice myself for your education. So we're going to rip this guy out of this enclosure and see what happens. Now, 
This could very well derail my future hand modeling career, but I think that I can come to peace with this little beetle. Oh god, this is pretty terrifying! Okay, look at that. That is a freaking blister beetle. Look at how thick his abdomen is. It is so filled with poison that his wing cases can't even come close to containing it. Look at how tiny his head is compared to that. What a freaky and horrific bug. But you'll notice I'm not screaming in agony. He is not leaking horrific poison all over my hands. And that is what I wanted to show you. If you see these guys, let them be. They are not out to get you. They are only wanting to defend themselves if you are harassing them. But besides that, we can let them go along with their day and just take a look at that really bizarre an oddly beautiful looking beetle. The blister beetle has one of nature's most effective defenses, but occasionally it's taken advantage of. A certain animal has found a way to turn these beetles from a formidable foe into a form of pesticide in order to defend its home from intruders. But that's a video for another day. What an awesome, terrifying bug here to find in the Great Plains. If you see one of these guys, don't mess with it. He's finally chilled out now. He's not looking like he's gonna absolutely ruin my day. So we're gonna let him go walk around here and be an absolute tank defending himself from all the toothy critters out here. If you guys liked invertebrate content like this, be sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you all so much for watching.